Hey guys, happy Tuesday. You know what today is? It's International Women's Day! And on this international holiday, I thought it would be a great idea to highlight some of the amazing things that women have done in our favorite Nancy Drew games. Starting off strong on our list, we have Jane from The Curse of Blackmore Manor. Now I know she might not be everybody's favorite, but I think this is really cool of her. She does mention in the game at some point that she wants to design video games when she grows up, like me. And then you see her later on in Danger by Design actually having her own game portal. That is pretty cool for her to take on when she's like, what, eight years old? Hashtag women in STEM. All right, second, we have a classic here. I'm gonna talk about Bess, but specifically Bess from the Crystal Skull. The reason why I bring her up from this game is because I feel like she really stepped up to the plate to help Nancy out when she was stuck at a certain someone's house. She's able to snoop and she's able to do all these things after she's absolutely terrified of doing so. She even says it here. You want me to snoop? I'm not good at that sneaking around stuff, Nancy. I get nervous, my tongue gets all knotted up, my palms sweat to say nothing of my arm. I think she did a really great job. I really enjoyed her in this game. I enjoyed playing as her. If you haven't played this game as her, I definitely would check it out. All right, next up, I wanted to talk about Jamila from the Tomb of the Lost Queen. I really enjoyed her character. I enjoyed how headstrong she was, even when Abdullah was trying to kick her out of the tomb. It's giving girl boss energy and I'm honestly living for it. Okay, this next part might include some spoilers from the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. So if you haven't played that game all the way through, I suggest skipping this part quick. Next up on our list, I wanted to talk about Lupe from the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. I absolutely love her character. I think it's so cool that she was there to help the wolf and to be able to conserve animals, even coming in and saying she was a bird watcher at first. Like we love a woman that's fighting for the rights of animals. I also absolutely love that Lupe was able to just do destroy all of the men in the cabin with this one line. Be a doll and clean my room first. It'll hardly take you any time at all, especially compared to the other rooms. The other guests are all men, single men. Last on my list, and most certainly not least, we all know her, we all love her. I wanted to talk about Professor Hotchkiss. Now I've mentioned before that she's one of my all time favorite characters from the Nancy Drew universe, but I really do enjoy her in The Treasure in the Royal Tower, just for the fact that she's so ready to defend Marie Antoinette and her history and try to find out the truth. Oh, poor Marie the most misunderstood queen of the 18th century. We love women who support other women and who believe in women, and I love that. And the fact that she just trusts Nancy Drew to be able to go into her room and not do anything crazy. I can so see her completely leading like a women's march and being so supportive of everybody showing up, and I just love her. <laughs> she may as well be the mascot of today. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the highlights from my videos, and I want you guys to comment down below other women from the Nancy Drew games that you specifically enjoy. And finally guys, Her Interactive is hoping you all have an absolutely wonderful International Women's Day.